sweet friends. Welcome back for another read aloud today. We are going to read Smelly Socks. This is another Robert Munch book who did Mortimer and which other one did we read? I always have a hard time remembering that one. Um, uh, several other ones that we've read. Goodness gracious, I'm drawing a blank this morning. Anyways, so Robert Munch and Michael Marchenko did the pictures in this one as well. Um, and if you look at the front picture, look at the girl. Do you see the smell coming off of her socks? Do you have a thought about why this book is called Smelly Socks? Let's see if you're right. Here we go. Smelly Socks. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there is no bridge there, said, T said Tina's mom. You know it's a long, long, long way to the only bridge. And besides, we don't even have a car. So it sounds like maybe Tina lives maybe on an island of sorts where it's you have to drive all the way around to go across the bridge. Does Tina want black socks? She wants something a little bit more fun, doesn't she? So Tina went to find her grandfather and said, can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor is not working on the boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina, we can row. I will row and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina, rowing is easy. So look, do you see what her grandfather did? He makes statues using a chainsaw out of wood. How cool is that? Now, Tina says that she will row the boat. She claims that rowing is easy. If it was that easy, don't you think her mom would have taken her in a boat? Let's find out. So Tina got in the boat and rowed slowly. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in slow circles. Swish, swish, swish. Tina rowed fast. Splash, 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 splash. And the boat went in fast circles. Swish, 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 swish. This boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. Now, did the boat forget how to row? Or is it Tina's rowing? So she just kind of is going in circles. Is she getting anywhere? Not really. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row. And her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then they walked all the way through the town to the big sock store. So look, if you look right there, you see her pointing like the captain. Now look right here, let me see if I can get it close. Do you see that giant store with a sock on it? I bet that's where they're headed see what happens. At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too little, socks that were too blue, and socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found the perfect pair of red, yellow, and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat. And this time, the boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rode round and round and round and still got to the other side. So Tina rode on the way home. Look at that pile of socks. She tried on all those socks. Do you see the ones on her feet? Are they red, green, and yellow? I think that's the pair she got. When they got back, Tina ran home and yelled, socks, socks, wonderful socks. These are the best socks I have ever seen in my life. Grandpa rode me all the way across the river to get these socks, and I am never going to take them off. Never, said Tina's mother. Never, said Tina. Uh-oh, said Tina's mother. So look. Now, she said never. Do you know what that means, right? So Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. 
her mother said, Tina, I know you love these socks. Just let me wash them for you really quick. They will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, the kids at school said, ooh, Tina, what a smell. Change your socks. Socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, 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 never going to take them off. So 10 days plus 10 more days. How long has she been wearing these socks? If you said 20, you are right. Look at the smell coming off of them. Ew, Tina, change your socks, girl. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30 days. That's a whole month. A whole flock of Canadian geese flew over her house and dropped right out of the sky because of the smell. Two moose walked right through her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Now look, do you see the picture? Look at the animals. Look at their faces. They're like, eh, look at that smell. Ooh, Tina. They're not even yellow anymore. They're so dirty. Hmm, how would you get Tina to change her socks? Do you have an idea? Because I think the people in the book sure could use a good one right now. She refuses. She did say never she was going to take off her socks. So far, she hasn't. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and carried her to the river. Then they held their noses and took off her socks. Look at Tina. Look, her socks are black. Ooh. Do you see how they all have things covering their noses? Gas masks, band-aids, goggles are covering their eyes. Look, looks like this boy has a box of soap. What do you think her friends are going to do to her socks? Do you think if you wash them now, you could ever get them clean? See what happens. Some of the kids held Tina and scrubbed, and some of the kids washed her socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the fish in the river floated up to the top and acted like they were dead because it was so stinky. Look, look at all the dirt in the water from them washing the socks. Do you see the fish trying to get away? They're like, oh no, the stink, the dirt. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. They washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, ooh, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Look, do you see the beavers? <laughs> Beaver, I even have beaver grandma right there. They've all come to grandpa's house. They're like, uh, the river stinks. We're coming to live with you. And as the stink water is flowing down, people are walking out going, whew, smelly socks. Where is that smell coming from? Finally, the socks were clean. Can you believe it? They cleaned those nasty, dirty socks. Wow, said Tina. They look way nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina. They smell nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina. They feel nicer when they are clean. Tina put on the socks and said, I am going to wear clean socks from now on. Yay for Tina. Did she finally figure out, hey, Clean is better than dirty, right? Look at the flowers. The birds are coming back. They're like, mmm, clean socks, clean socks. The beavers finally left her grandfather's house and went back to the river. The Canadian geese got up off the ground and flew away. The fish decided that they were not dead after all and jumped and splashed in the river. Look, do you see all the animals waking up now that it doesn't stink so bad? And Tina has on her clean socks. 
Tina went to her mom and said, My socks are nice and clean, and I think it would be very nice if you took me to town to get me a nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mom. No, said Tina, if I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. She's like, why should I have to do it? If it smells bad enough, my friends will do it. Now look, look at the last picture. Oh no, did she clean her socks? She did not, and look, her mommy bought her the shirt, and did she wash her shirt? No, and even the stinky skunk, look, he has a little socks this time, and they threw them all into the river to wash them. So it seemed like Tina had learned her lesson when she put on her finally clean socks and said, oh, they smell and they look and they feel so much better. But did she really learn her lesson? The only lesson she seemed to learn was that, hey, if I don't do it, eventually it will bother my friends so much, they will wash it for me. Maybe after the end, after this time, maybe she'll learn her lesson. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed our story, Smelly Socks. Find someone in your house today that did not listen to the story and tell them about Tina, her adventure getting these very cool socks, and then what she decided to never do. All right, friends, I hope that you join me next time for another story, and I wish you a very happy day. Be kind to each other. Bye.